Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video, and we have a new soul box on the servers in my area. And we have Zenbone Zakura and Butterfly Aizen. Just out of the gate, I'm going to say, in my opinion, this is a skip. Save your resources. And I'll get into that real quickly, and we won't make this a very long video. First off, Zenbone Sakura. I've talked about him quite a bit. There's plenty of videos on my YouTube channel. I will link you to the specific one where I break down why he doesn't work and what could be done to fix him, but they have not. For those reasons, I cannot recommend him, especially if you've been playing this game for any amount of time, especially a year or more. Your library of characters is enough at this point in time that you do not need him because of what he does, or I should say what he doesn't do. He does will not help your team, in my opinion. And you know, if you disagree, put in the comments, but I just think he is an average character that could have been better with just some minor modifications. And with those modifications, as I break down, and like I said, I'll put the link in the description of the video, he could be a really good character. But we have so many really good characters at this point in time, given this game's um, depth of time being on the market, I don't see a reason to get him at this time. Now, Butterfly Eisen's a little different. I love Butterfly Eisen. I am a fan of this character. People seem to either love him or hate him. He's a build-up character, okay? You can tank him on the front line if you want. You can put him on the back line. He slams that front low row. His skill set is exceptional, in my opinion. His passive, at the beginning of battle, he gains two stacks of his butterfly wings, and he can get that up to four times. And after he accumulates four stacks, he gains 60% increased block pierce chance. When Aizen's HP falls below 40% for the first time during battle, he will recover rage and HP for each stack of butterfly wings. And what does butterfly wings do? Each stack increases damage rate by 12% and rage recovery rate by 12%. So again, on that buildup, he can really do some crazy good damage. His rage skill is nice too. It deals damage, as I spoke about earlier, it slams that front line. So if you do have a team that you really like that hits the front line hard and that's your focus, and you don't have him, then yeah, I would probably recommend him for you. Um, he does additional damage equal to 25% of Aizen's attack multiplied by the number of stacks of butterfly wings. Again, everything works off that butterfly wings, and it works well. It, the character is, in my opinion, written and works as he states he will. He dispels all buffs from enemy targets after after his rage attack, he gains another two stacks of butterfly wings. So you can see what's going on here. It just keeps rotating around. But again, is he necessary? No, he's necessary in no means possible to, to anybody in this game that's been playing on that one to two year mark at this point in time. Now, again, if you use a team that you, if you like teams that slam that front line first and you don't have him, he's going to be a great fit for you. But if not, you know, we're at the time in this game where they're dropping characters where they're not necessarily better than what we have. And the characters that we have now, we have so many solid, well-built characters out there. And some that are legacy characters, characters that have been around for a while that still do well, like White Ichigo, Yamamoto, if he's awakened, does well still. Um, Tosin, I mean, Unahana. And then you've got the mid-range characters, like your Shinjis, um, as well as things that have come out over the last year and the season pass characters. There's so much to offer that you already have in your library that if you haven't touched, save your resources and go with those because there are some amazing characters right now that everybody has that probably aren't using and I'm guilty of it too. You know, you get into a rotation of the same characters and then you, and then you don't go back and relook at some of these characters that maybe due to the meta have changed. But I, this is a definite skip for me, this soul box, because right now in this game, to me, it's about resource conserving, okay? We don't know where the game's going. The last two event characters that were, I'm sorry, the last two banner characters were fine, but nothing spectacular, okay? One doesn't seem to work, and the other one 
seems to be fatally flawed. So what do we do now? Well, we're in a game with no content. They haven't given us anything more. And we're kind of in limbo, so to speak. So save your resources, build up your gold, build up your soul jades, and start focusing on characters that you never touched before. Save your pocketbook. If you're free to play, build those resources so if they actually do drop a really good character, you're ready to roll on it. And then you're in a much better position than you are currently. So with that, please, as always, like and subscribe. It helps so much. Also, too, my server-wide breakdown of the most popular characters will be dropping tomorrow. I finally finished it. With that, have a great day.